Uh, Waka Flocka, this was, I like, I like that Waka Flocka said this. I like that he admitted this. Uh, Waka Flocka is very mature nowadays. Not that he's never been mature, but he's honest. And you got to appreciate the honesty because a lot of rappers fall under this. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to say who, but a lot of rappers fall under this. So what am I talking about? Let's go over an article. Waka Flocka Flame has said he was well aware when he was starting out that he was not the world's greatest rapper, but his beats more than made up for his lack of skills in the booth. So he said this, I told people I can't rap. I'm a fucked up rapper. Uh, but I said, guess what? When it comes to feeling, I'm going to crush y'all because I know the feeling. He continued, said, I probably did over 3,000 shows in my career. There was never a Waka show that people seen that wasn't the same as the last time energy-wise. So, first off, Waka Flock's energy is probably one of the best. That's why his music goes so hard. I go hard in the motherfucking paint. Like, it just gets your, gets your blood boiling. You just want to start throwing shit and breaking shit, right? Uh, that's the first thing. Waka Flocka is a feeling type of artist. And this is what I say. When people... I, I'm not a fan of those people who are just focused on lyrics and just like those hardcore, not boom bap, because I don't want to throw that out there because boom bap people do not just do that, but like those hardcore hip hop fans that just care about lyrics and that's it. If you can't rap and rhyme really good, we uh, you don't they don't listen to you. And I disagree with that. That like if you're that type of listener as a hip hop listener, then you're missing out, in my opinion. I don't care. I listen to everything. You know, I listen to lyrical artists. I listen to artists that can't rap for shit but just sound really good and that's basically Waka Flocka he's not the most lyrical artist you're not going to sit there and be like whoa this guy but the feeling there's a lot of artists that have a feeling that they give you that is better than what some rappers can rap about like some rappers lyrically these artists that give you that feeling because music at the end of the day is feeling at the end of the day that's what that's what music is it's how when you get in a mood and you're happy you listen to uh, whatever happy song you know, when you're when you're sad, you listen to depressing music. When you're angry, you listen to DMX. Whatever the case may be, whatever you at mood, it's about feelings when it comes to music. And then there are some artists that can make you feel and rap good, and those are very rare. And those are the ones that we talk about, like Lil Wayne's, the Eminem's, the Kanye's, these type of artists, Drake's. They can rap really good, and they can make you feel the music that they're talking about. Some artists only got the feeling side, and some artists only got the the real rapping lyrical side. And then occasionally you'll hear from one from one or another, you'll hear like a good a good lyrical rapper that can make you feel sometimes. And then sometimes you'll hear a, a feeling artist that'll make you, you know, be like, whoa, he, you know, he rapped uh, his ass off. So I enjoy the feeling artist. I think a little bit more than the lyrical. I enjoy the, 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 the I commend, let's just say this, I commend and respect the lyrical ability because that, that takes a lot. But the feeling is also something that, that's going to stick with you more. Let's just say that. Because think about it. When you're, when you're in your emotions, right? What do you, what do you listen to? You know, um, let's just say you were mad at one point and a song came on. Or you were at the club. Let's just say you're at the club, right? And you're in very, very great mood. Oh my God, you're on top of the world. This song comes, a song comes on, right? And it's just in the club and it's hitting. It's hitting your emotions right with the lyrics, with everything. Those songs may not be the most lyrical but those songs, like, that, that will stick in your head as a memory forever. Because that song, just at that moment, was the perfect time and it gave you a great feeling. Lyrical songs, what they do for me is they, they get me, like, excited. The hip-hop side of me gets excited. Like, how do I explain it? It brings, like, this fire in me to, like, perfect my own craft of what I'm doing. You know? Um, that's what I like about the lyrical side of it. It's like, whoa. Like when you hear somebody rap, you're like, damn, this guy really, really, this girl or guy really, really took their time, you know, writing this out and it, it execution is perfect. The way they flowed it, wrapped it, delivered it, everything is just like, you know, tight knit and perfect. That's a great feeling as well. When you like that, that like it ignites a fire in me to like do better in my own craft of things. And I enjoy it. I like, I like hearing things that I've never heard before and have it flipped and split and this and that. And, you know, so I, I like everything in hip hop, man. There's something for everybody in hip hop, and I I don't I don't knock anything, man. I don't. Uh, now Playboy Cardi is ass cheeks. He's a two pack of ass. But if that's what you listen to, like if we hung out and you're like, yo, Playboy Cardi is one of my favorite rappers. Cool. 
Uh, if you like Frenchy Vanilla, Frenchy Montana, whatever his name is, uh, cool. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really, I don't think it's that serious to be shitting on people's music taste. It just, it's not never been that serious for me at least. Um, but I know some people, when you argue on Twitter, oh, you, you like this artist, he's not even lyrical, he's ass, and you don't know shit about hip hop. It's like, it's not that serious, guys, I'm telling you. Um, you know, just enjoy what you enjoy and uh, know that just don't be judgmental of other people's music choices. You know, if, if I don't like those people that come in and they're like, oh, you Quake, you know, there's so many lyrical rappers and you, you, you just listen to this and that and you don't care about these lyrical, miracle, uh, spiritual rappers. I'm like, dude, I, you know, I like what I like. I like lyrical rappers, but then I also like rappers that make me feel good, that they have a flow or delivery that can, you know, do something that that's something that 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 you don't get often as well. So uh, I, I like that Waka Flocka, though, overall just admitted that, hey, I might not be the most lyrical, but the beats carry me and I can bring good energy. And a lot of rappers in today's time, unfortunately, this isn't an unfortunate part of it, rely more on the production than they do their ability to rap. And we've seen that over and over. Uh, but these artists don't last. That's why sometimes producers are lasting more than artists because these producers are essentially carrying their careers. If it wasn't for a lot of these producers, a lot of these artists would not be as special as they are because they can't, you give them a boom, bad beat, but simple beat, they can't do shit with it. So uh, shout out to Waka Flocka, man, for, for, for acknowledging that. 